Gracias. Gracias. Made it to Arequipa. Usually don't sleep on the overnight buses. Actually, last night I slept like probably seven hours. So um, we're gonna organize now with the tour group behind me and head towards our hotel here in town. Love this city. Excited to be back here. Everything you said we already knew, more or less. Oh, well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Jeff and I have been spending like the whole, I guess, midday running around town, doing some chores and getting things prepared for the next couple days because it's a busy couple days coming up on, on this workshop. Now it's already mid-afternoon and we're heading somewhere really cool. We're heading to the Santa Catalina Monastery. It's full of colors, it's super photogenic, and yeah, it's a really cool spot. So let's check it out. We just made it into Santa Catalina Monastery. How cool is this place? It's just really absolutely beautiful. All this like rock is made with volcanic rock. It's like white, which makes it really easy to paint in, like these whites and yellows and reds and blues. And it's really cool that way. Um, we've got the photo workshop group with us here and we're gonna work on advanced composition. That's the skill of the day. There's all these beautiful frames. So we're gonna work on framing. And yeah, should be a lot of fun because it is a really photogenic place. I was saying a couple days ago that a lot of this trip is really familiar for me because I've done a lot of this stuff before, but this place, Santa Catalina Monastery, no matter how many times I've come here, and I've been here probably a dozen times because I actually used to live in Arequipa, it never gets old. This place is just so cool. And every time I come here, I find new compositions. I find new little nook, nooks and crannies to photograph. And best of all, everybody loves it here. All of the participants are just having a blast, wandering around, getting shots and exploring. So such a good afternoon right now. Millie, get out of the frame. We're doing a shout out. <laughs> this is my boy, Chris. Huge. <laughs> Huge fan. Huge Hi, Brandon. Hey. <laughs> She's causing so much trouble. Peruvians. <laughs> this is our boy, Chris Gooch. I just wanted to shout him out. He's a budding YouTuber and photographer, and he wants your support, I think. Yeah, so I'm just starting off on my own journey. I'm trying to sort of kind of get where Brendan is. Um, so I started a YouTube channel just trying to document my own journey. Yeah, but I, I'm trying to kind of share what I learn as I go on and hope that that'll kind of help other people as well. Sweet, I think that's awesome. That's what I think I tried to do maybe a little bit late. And I think it's really cool to see the journey start from the start. So yeah, head over to Chris's channel. There's a link in the description and there'll be like an end card. At the end of this video, there'll be an end card and you just click on his face and you'll get his channel. And yeah, check out his journey. The classic one-handed photographer pose by Lenny. <laughs> Zoom in on that. Oh, that's the look, Lenny. You need more spread between your legs.
<laughs> oh, there, that's better, yep. Had such a good time at Santa Catalina, Mon we had, we had such a good time at Santa Catalina. I cannot say that word right now. We had such a good time at Santa Catalina Monastery and now we're heading down to the Plaza de Armas. I have this spot that used to kind of be my, my secret spot that I would take people up overlooking the plaza, but then somebody wrote about it in a travel guide for like, I don't know, Condé Nast or Nat Geo or something. And now everybody goes there, so we're heading there now. Hopefully it's not too busy, and hopefully we get some beautiful light for sunset over the plaza. This is the secret view that's not so secret anymore. A uh, bit harsh light in the background, but once the sun goes down, it'll be cool in the blue light, I think. Actually, I know that, because it's always awesome here. So let's set up, let's have some Pisco Sours, and then let's take some pictures. How are the shots coming out, Chris? Not bad. I thought okay and then I looked at this one I was like, damn, that's much better. It's absolutely epic light, but it's like kind of hard because it's backlight. But yeah, it's still beautiful. And right now we're kind of... I'm trying to convince Jeff and Jeff doesn't really take much convincing because he wants the shot too. But we we're trying to get him down there. We want... Oh, there he is! <laughs> there he is! He's on the roof! Okay, I'm gonna get this shot. I'll be back, YouTube. I, we just got the shot and it was, I think it was epic. I think it was absolutely killer. And here's Jeff right here. And this actually might be an even better photo. Through the window. There's, how did you get down there? There's a ladder. <laughs> the cops just showed up and gave us trouble. Did you get in trouble? I, I told them my name was Carlos from Canada. I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is epic right now, guys. So just for the record, as Jeff was standing on that ledge as I tried to get that shot, the cops were whistling at him to get down. Meanwhile, some locals were telling him to jump. <laughs> That was just so much fun. We all had Pisco Sour set up here. We had like absolutely epic light. Jeff almost got arrested, which is always really cool. And it was just the perfect way to end the day. Santa Catalina was amazing. This viewpoint and the light was amazing. And it's only getting better from here. We leave from here into the Colca Canyon, then it's Lake Titicaca, then Cusco and Machu Picchu. Things are just getting started here in Peru and I feel really good about it. Uh, right now, I think we're gonna go grab some dinner at a restaurant and then we're gonna probably call it a night. I'm about to eat alpaca. Don't judge me. It's so good. It's alpaca's fault for tasting so good, really. I hope it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried it. <laughs> That is it from Arequipa, Peru today. It was a really good day. It was kind of like, I don't know, it kind of felt like a blast from the past since I was here tour leading so many years ago and spent quite a bit of time here when I was living here as well. So yeah, it was kind of cool. It was kind of nostalgic and it doesn't feel like all that time has passed. It doesn't feel like seven years has passed, but yeah, really cool. Tomorrow's gonna be really fun. We're heading into the Colca Canyon, the second deepest canyon in the world. And yeah, so I guess stay tuned for that. And I'll probably eat more strange foods. Maybe some more alpaca. Maybe we'll try llama. Who knows? We'll see. I'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode. Peace. Baby.